Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So, Scott here, bringing you another super Ross awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to the Scarland Fishing Cabin Project to complete a fishing boat. That's right, we're going to make our first vehicle in Scarland, and it's going to be one super awesome fishing boat. So, let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland, and it's good to have you here as we start another super awesome Minecraft project, and we're working once again on our fishing cabin. So, in our last episode, of course, we built our fishing dock and our little overhang thing, and I think that came out just super awesome. And if you're aware, I just came through the new super speed tunnel that brings you out to this area of Scarland. So another thing I've been working on, as you can see, the uh, little hillside over here, I've just been working on some of the landscaping design over here. So just kind of fixed up the trees a little bit, added some plant life and some rock sliding into the ocean. And I think it looks pretty good. If you go back to the previous episodes, you look at what this looked like before, kind of bland, kind of boring, but now it looks pretty cool. So in today's episode, like I said, we're going to work on a fishing boat. So I've been looking around so I'm trying to look around I'm like where would a good fishing boat location be I decided maybe not over there because we have the fishing dock over here so let's head on over here and I'm thinking maybe down here because this is where the actual you know boat house is going to go so maybe right around there so I put that little pillar right there so maybe it could give us like a little uh indication on where a good spot to kind of put it would be because this is where our boat house is going to go and it's going to go into the mountain here so that's going to be just kind of an automatic uh, dispatch of a boat and then an automatic, you know, pickup of it once we depart the boat. But, uh, you know, a fun, you know, like decorational boat. We need something like that. So this is what this is going to be. So let's get started right away here. And I think this is a good spot right here. So we still have a little bit of work to do on this side of the mountain and maybe a little something over there. But I think it's all starting to come out pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go... Let's see, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, so now we have eight blocks of um, of our quartz. And of course, if you're doing this without quartz or something, you know, snow's an option or also wool. So another thing we're gonna do now is we are going to attach some stairs along here. So we're gonna go like that. There we go. And I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy with all this bobbing, but once we get a little bit of a foundation set up, we won't have to do any more bobbing. There we go. All right. So let's actually get out a little block there. Hop up here. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And then we're gonna start layering these up here. So yeah, this is really fun. I've never really made too many vehicles, and especially none for Scarland, but um, this is gonna be really fun, I think, because it'll also allow us to to just have a little more decoration, just a little something different in the world. I've always wanted to make like a Zeppelin or a hot air balloon for Scarland. So we're definitely gonna probably build one of those soon. Maybe as like a bonus Sunday episode. But speaking of bonus Sunday episodes, would you guys like a super awesome Scarland bonus episode this Sunday? I have a few projects we could do if you guys wanna see it. Definitely let me know if uh, yes for the super awesome bonus episode. All right, so our boat's getting kind of built. I would like it to be a little lower in the water, but I think this will probably be fine. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out how the best way of doing our next phase is. Let's start up in the front here. So let's start up in the front. So this, at this point, we got the base down, but now we're just gonna try to kind of figure out what is the best solution for our next phase here. So this is kind of trial and error. This is like building a Lego, super fun. I wanna build more like, uh, Actually, I'm gonna probably get back inside the boat. Get to get back inside the boat, we go. All right, but this is like building a Lego. Uh, you know, it's like putting the pieces together and it's really fun. Um, let's see here. Let's go here, here. And then I'm going to attach you like that. There you go. I'm gonna do the same over here. Perfect. And then we'll just place that like that, nice. And then I wanna do the same back here. So I'm just going to come back to right about here. What I'm thinking about is removing this pillar here. I think we're going to do that. And then we're going to go like that. Come on. There you go. Perfect. All right. Good. And then we'll do the same here. So like I always say, whenever I, whenever I make videos, they always cheer me up. I've been kind of bummed out the last little bit, but making videos always makes me feel a little bit better. I was kind of bummed out lately about, you know, 
I finally have an opportunity to kind of like travel and stuff to see um, for the channel and stuff. And that opportunity finally came up for me to do that. But uh, it's just, you know, I don't really get out a ton. And I kind of figure out sometimes why I don't is getting me to point A to point B is just ridiculously complicated because of just medical things. And it just kind of gets you down when you, you have an opportunity to do something, but it doesn't look like you can because of, you know, getting, you know, medical supplies ordered and getting ready and stuff. It's just, ah, oh man, it can really get you down. So I'm making the video a little earlier than I usually do this week just to, I don't know. These videos just make me feel better. Talking to you guys always makes me feel a lot better, and that's what it's doing. I'm already having fun again and making videos for you guys, which is my favorite thing to do in the world. There we go. All right, good. So we got the front built now, and let's do a little bit of decorations. So one thing we could do, which I think will be cool, is add just a small railing right here. So I'll just add this along here. There we go. And there we go. So this is kind of like a white fiberglass boat. You almost might see in more of a tropical environment a little bit, but I think it'll go pretty good here. So now I'm just going to add these. Let's see, where are we going to add these? Probably about, let's do it right here, and we can do two chairs there maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We'll do those right there. So this is just going to be an overhang that will house right up here. This will just be kind of our cockpit back here. So if I can just, oh, no, no, get that down right there. Yeah, so yeah, I really, I have an opportunity to go to E3, but I just don't know if I'll be able to, to you know, go or not. I really want to go. So I'm trying to, you know, do a little bit of planning now, but you know, when you get an opportunity like that, that's pretty cool. But you know, if I just don't know if I'll be able to go, which is kind of a bummer. There we go, put that down like so. And you know, I would love to, you know, someday be able to like fly and stuff, but it's so complicated to try to like, you know, like I said, get me to point A to point B. You know, if I were to fly, I would have to have an oxygen concentrator, but they're very, very expensive. Insurance doesn't pay for them. And it's just a huge pain in the butt to go through, you know, security with a feeding tube and oxygen and a wheelchair. It's like you just get all of it at you at once. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, this thing is starting to turn out awesome. Um, we're going to need some, some seats up here for while we're just kind of sitting down, relaxing, catching some fish. So right now we're going to add our prop. So I'm going to dig down just one more here. Oh, 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 oh dear. I thought we had one block under there. We're going down. Um, no, 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 no. I want you right there. There you go. And I'm going to put you right there. And I'm going to put you... Right there. So I found a used um, anvil. <laughs> I'm such a cheapskate. <laughs> I was going to make a new one, and I'm like, why would I even make a new one? I could just be a cheapskate and uh, do this. Let's see. I'm trying to make the back section of the boat here. Yeah, that looks like a boat. You know how you can kind of like step off the back or whatever, or at least boats that I've been in, I guess. I don't know if that's a normal boat. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that looks normal, you know, like, you know, if you need to service the motor or, you know, if you want to, you know, go skiing or whatever, you just kind of hop off the back. So yeah, I guess that's normal. So we have a choice here. We could try snow or carpet, I was thinking for the ground. So let's see here. Snow. Oh, snow doesn't go on those blocks. That's right. But these guys do. So I guess it is carpet. <laughs> I guess it is carpet. Of course, these are uh, stair blocks right here. So I guess snow doesn't go on top of those. But Apparently carpet does. There we go. I like that. That came out pretty good. Um, let's see here. Let's jump in the water one more time, kind of get an idea how we're doing. Oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful boat. That isn't that just the beautifulest boat you've ever seen? Don't you just want to like get in there and do some fishing and stuff like that? Oh, that is awesome. Well, give me one second, guys. I'm going to kind of catch my breath and go get a few more supplies, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back, and look at our boat down there. That looks so cool. Let's get over here and get a little bit closer look. So once we do our landscaping, I want to do kind of a waterfall that kind of flows through here down into this point, and then it ends up, you know, flowing through that little hole down there. It'll look really cool from the living room. I think it'll look cool from there. Oh, yeah, look at that. We might even want to add another half slab maybe right there sticking out. But look at that. That thing is so cool. Woohoo! cannonball all right so let's get a little bit closer here 
get a better look from here. I like the overhang. I think that came out really nice and the railing on the side. And I think this is right. You know, I was looking at a picture of a boat and you know, they don't have too much on the back here, kind of depending on the boat, but I think this 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 works for the back here, especially I think this works as a good uh, outboard motor and we got our little compass here and drive around and look at our house up there looking really snazzy. You can see all this random dirt right here. That's just me using it for scaffolding as we, you know, build up the sides here to make this look a little bit nicer. Okay, so put our finishing touches on our boat here. And let's see here. I'm gonna go right there and I'm gonna go right there. And there we go. We got our two little seats here. And I think that, well, I guess we could probably do one here, right? Yeah, let's do one right there just as our driver's seat. But for the most part, these types of boats don't really have a seat for the driver. They always seem to be standing up. But I think that looks good. I think that's a good choice for there. And I, man, I really like that as an outboard motor. I think that looks really cool. All right, well, look at that, guys. I think we have built something really kind of cool and unique for Scarland that we don't have in the world already is, you know, some vehicle type things. And I think that's really cool. And let me know if you guys want to see maybe some hot air balloons or maybe a Zeppelin flying over Scarland. I think that would be really super awesome. And um, thanks for letting me make the video for you guys today. It just made me feel a little bit better. And just talking to you guys always makes me feel a little bit better. And I always really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching my videos and supporting them. It means a ton. It definitely does, guys. And well, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And I got some fishing to do. I'm trying to make a little... I'm trying to make right here, if you're following here, I'm trying to make... You know, something here that would act as kind of a unique looking railing. I'm trying to figure, hmm, let's try something like that. Yeah, I can like that. Um, I had a corrupted file. It was the first time ever in like three, three years of making videos.